Are you trying to balance your hormones but feel like you're not getting anywhere? Well, I can tell you now that sometimes it's the things that you subtract from your life that make the biggest difference in your healing journey rather than those that you add. At least that was the case with me. That's why in today's video, I'm going to share with you five things to avoid if you want to balance your hormones. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post a new video teaching you how to balance your hormones naturally. I'm Madison Doan and I am a holistic hormone coach who has has personally used the tips we are going to talk about in today's video to reverse my own PCOS and help all of my clients on their healing journeys too. In fact, Anushka, one of my beautiful clients from India, even said, Mads explains everything so well, she opened my eyes as I had not even looked at certain things in that perspective. She just brought in so much positivity and truly helped my skin. Thank you, Anushka. So the first thing you should avoid when trying to balance your hormones, at least for a couple of months anyway, is HIT or high intensity interval training. This style of training is designed with short bursts of energy that spike your heart rate suddenly, and with that, your cortisol levels too. Cortisol is the stress hormone and lowering your cortisol levels is absolutely crucial if you want to heal anything. This is because high cortisol levels play a major role in your fight or flight response that is involved in keeping you safe. In order to do this, cortisol restricts the blood flow to organs like the digestive and reproductive systems and channels it into the heart and the muscles, allowing you to run or fight if you need to for survival. The problem with this is that it is completely unnecessary when we are in a controlled exercise class. And yet our body's automatic chemical response is to still suppress the reproductive system and with that, the production of hormones in their healthy balanced levels. For this same reason, Reason, it's probably best that you stay away from crime fighting too. The second thing you must avoid if you want to heal and balance your hormones is calorie restriction or any restrictive fad diet such as low carb. Carbohydrates are the body's preferred energy source, therefore they play a very important role in providing your body the adequate energy to heal. When you restrict yourself of your vital nutrients such as your proteins, fats and carbs, the body goes into starvation mode and begins slowing down your metabolism in order to store these nutrients for when they have run out, kind of like hibernation. Not only does this then cause weight gain as your metabolism has been slowed, but this starvation mode is also a part of the stress response we just talked about, so it too will suppress your reproductive system. This is why women with eating disorders such as anorexia often lose their periods. But please don't take this to the extreme and start eating your whole pantry. We don't want to have an excess of these foods either. We just don't want to be depriving our body of the vital nutrients it needs to function and heal. Our bodies need this energy from carbohydrates to repair and when learning to make new hormones again in their perfect balanced harmony. But it's not just the carbs that are important. Proteins and fats are also crucial because they actually provide the building blocks to make the different hormones in our bodies. And remember, not all carbs, proteins, and fats are created equal, and you should still avoid refined and processed foods, high in sugars and saturated fats. We go through the best sources of these nutrients for balancing your hormones in depth in the Balance Your Hormones ebook. The next thing you should avoid is dairy, and this is because the proteins in dairy increase IGF-1 in our bodies, which stands for insulin like growth factor. The ability of milk to increase IGF-1 is incredibly beneficial in the growth of calves and even human babies when they rely on breast milk for their initial rapid growth, but not so helpful after the age of three. An important hormone for growth is testosterone. So one of the jobs of IGF-1 is actually to increase testosterone levels, something that is not so helpful when you're an adult woman with a hormonal imbalance or a condition like PCOS. Actually, before we discuss discuss the next two, I want to know what your favorite milk alternative is. Are you an almond milk girl, oat milk, maybe soy milk? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button while you're there to support this channel so that I can continue making more videos just like this one. So the next ones to avoid are antibiotics and this is because antibiotics don't just kill the bad bacteria, but they kill them all a bit like a nuclear bomb. And when your gut health is down, your inflammation increases, which affects the absorption of nutrients, the healing of cells and the detoxification of excess hormones. And the last major thing to avoid that I just want 
want to express in a slightly different context is physiological stress. I've already expressed to you how cortisol is the stress hormone and can directly affect the functioning of many body systems as a result of physical stress such as HIIT and calorie restriction, but it is important to note that physiological stresses result in the exact same chemical changes in the body. And with emotional stresses, what you need to understand is that there is no hierarchy of stress. In other words, being stressed out at work will spike your cortisol levels just as running away from a lion would. Things like poor work-life balance, lack of sleep, fear of judgment, rejection, embarrassment, loss, and financial struggles are all enough to shut down your reproductive and digestive systems and heighten the other organs that we spoke about, such as your heart. So it is important to make sure that you are getting eight hours of sleep, taking time out for yourself, and reducing your workload as much as possible. At the end of the day, your period is like your monthly report card, and if you are not getting a regular period, or if you are experiencing other symptoms of a hormonal imbalance like I talk about in this video here, then the only way to truly heal is to nourish your body with the right nutrients and to reduce your stress in order to lower your cortisol and supply your reproductive system with enough of a blood supply to function at its best. If you'd like to learn more about what else influences your reproductive system and how you can naturally balance your hormones and clear your symptoms, then I highly encourage you to check out my Balance Your Hormones ebook. In the book, I also teach you the right way to eat for your hormones, lower your already high cortisol levels, support your gut health, exercise to lose weight while keeping your hormones balanced, and all of the other things that come with naturally and holistically balancing your hormones. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out. And if you liked this video, then please make sure to like it below and subscribe and be sure to check out this video next because in this one I really unpack which hormones may be out of balance for you so that you can get to the bottom of your annoying hormonal symptoms. But that's all from me for today. I wish you all the health and happiness and I will see you in my next video next week.